realize that it's those who have faith who are children of Abraham. In today's first reading, we hear some of the essential elements of Paul's theology. For Paul, Abraham, as the father of faith, is important. Paul is transforming an essential notion of identity in Judaism. Whereas identity had been accounted for by being participants in the covenant as Abraham's descendants in the flesh, his physical, genealogical descendants, Paul proposes that to be a real child of Abraham, one must be his descendant spiritually in faith, regardless of one's fleshly descent. Through Christ, descendancy from Abraham is no longer simply available through one's familial descent or even by following the law, which actually came after the time of Abraham. But now it's something that's open to all. You see, Christ's death and his subsequent resurrection transform the flesh into something more. Christ, a descendant of Abraham in the traditional sense, makes salvation available to all, fulfilling the promise that Abraham would bring salvation to all nations. So the point is that this was God's plan all along. Now, from this perspective, Christ does not take faith in a new direction, per se. Rather, this was the, always the direction that it was going in. But he, however, does make it happen in a more complete way than it ever had been done before. So, at the same time, Christ, by his death and resurrection, changes everything. So, let us marvel today at this gift that Christ gives us which brings God's plan into fulfillment. 